Next, we come to international sponsoring. Now, international sponsoring is very unique to Forever. We are in about 160 countries, and you can sponsor into just about all of them. And you can receive uh, bonus income as a result of the activities of the group that, are, that grows in those various countries. In order to internationally sponsor, um, you need to understand the concept of your home country. Your home country is usually the area, the country, the country in which you, you normally live. Okay? It is the country where you need to, if you ever change your address, you need to contact the home country. You're, you're, suppose you move from the United States to the United Kingdom. You would need to contact the office in the United States who would then tr add, change your address to the United Kingdom. Uh, international sponsoring also takes place through your home country. Your global qualifications take place in your home country. So for international sponsoring, your high, the highlights of the program are simply contact your home country and ask them to sponsor you into whatever country you're, you're wanting. They can get on the computer very easily and have you added into uh, various countries. Your same ID number is used in all countries. You automatically start at your current level. So if you're currently a manager in the Middle East and you want to internationally sponsor into uh, Peru, South America, you are a manager in Peru as well. The cr case credits for your move up to supervisor, assistant manager, and manager can be combined from your total case credits worldwide. Any move up in any country automatically moves you up in all other countries. And your original upline stays intact. That means that if you have somebody under you who wants to sponsor into, uh, let's say, uh, South Africa, when they sponsor into South Africa, you are automatically brought over into the South Afri African system as part of that upline. And that's how you can have bonuses roll up to you as you qualify each month. Okay, now let's talk about waivers. Along with international sponsoring comes the concept of international waivers. If you were sponsored into 25 or 30 countries, we wouldn't expect you to be to buy four case credits in every single country in order to be considered active for the month. What we do, however, is we take a look at your home country. If you are active in your home country, the company will, will send out an activity waiver to all other countries where you're sponsored for the following month. And that way, that country will know that you're an active FBO and it will pay you the bonuses accordingly. So there's two types of waivers. One is an activity waiver. Activity waiver, waiver must be, the only way you can have an activity waiver is from your home country. So you need to be active with your four case credits in your home country. And the waiver is sent to all other countries for the following month. That's important to remember. Because if you're active in your home country in January, you will be reported as active for all other countries in the month of February. Next, we have what's called a leadership bonus waiver. This is the 12 case credits, remember, or the eight uh, case credits. This waiver can be generated by any country. So if you qualify for leadership bonus in any country, then that, those countries or that country will then send out a leadership waiver to all other countries for the, again, for the following month. And you will be, if you have leadership bonuses developing in foreign countries, you will be able to be paid on those bonuses.